today's tour features this amazing kitchen. A truly unique double-decker, two-level garage. A refreshing sunroom that overlooks your backyard, plus so, so much more. We can't wait for this one. Let's get started. We are in a market where buyers, you know, they want to make sure they are getting the best bang for their buck. And this home, it has no shortage of value. It has literally everything you can want. Garage, shop, chef's kitchen, hot tub, four bedrooms, finished walkout basement, massive lot, and this is all just under five minutes from the town of Meaford. Meaford, Ontario is a charming town in Gray County known for its picturesque landscapes, rich agricultural history, and picture-perfect beautiful beaches. The town boasts a vibrant art and culture scene with the historic Meaford Hall Arts and Cultural Centre serving as a hub for performance and events and is known for its local festivals and welcoming atmosphere. It's under 30 minutes to Blue Mountain and 20 minutes to Owen Sound. This home was custom built by Steve Doherty in 2004 and it has really everything you need. You've got over 3,000 square feet of living space for you to move around and enjoy. Plus, it's just under an acre offering privacy. The backyard here is an oasis that you are never going to want to leave, which we're gonna show you in a minute, but let's get on inside and check out this beautiful home. Enter the home through the front door and check out this beautiful main floor here. As you can see, all wood hickory floors here. It looks really good. Then you're gonna come into the open concept living room and kitchen. This kitchen is a chef's kitchen. Like, take a look at it. You've got three walls full of cabinet space, floor to ceiling, real Canadian maple cabinetry, and you've got all kinds of drawers here that you could imagine. You have pull out garbages, pull out pantries, so many different places to put all those kitchen supplies that we can never seem to have enough space for. Crayon molding around it. I love the display windows with the lighting in it up top. Just adds a really nice piece. You've got a large quartz countertop centerpiece for the island with the sink here, and then quartz countertops around the far walls there. Mark, you're a bit of an amateur chef yourself. You think you could do some, some serious work in a kitchen like this? Well, Tim, I'm telling you, if I had a kitchen like this, I would go from amateur to pro almost overnight, I guarantee it. Let's take a second and just really kind of take a look through here. Some really awesome features. If you notice, you got the double dishwasher in wall uh, tubs there. What a wonderful little feature. And don't forget these matching Gen Air stainless steel appliances, very high end. You got the double oven and of course, the wonderful little piece here for any true cook, the gas range with the direct vent exterior. All right, coming around this way, is super handy prep area here. It's kind of like a butler's pantry. You can have a coffee station, maybe your warmers if you're having uh, parties over. And speaking of parties, as we all know, usually when you're hosting a bunch of people, it almost always ends up in the kitchen. And this one will not disappoint. It's so open here, tons of counter space. You have the beautiful living area behind you bathroom just around the corner and of course on those warm summer days you come on out here to this raised deck overlooking this gorgeous property. Coming off the kitchen we have this addition area that was professionally done in 2014 and it really opens up the space that this home has. You have the entrance to the garage here so you're going to have the ability to drive in the garage, park your door, come inside, take off your boots and jacket. That's a game changer in the winter time. You have a two-piece bathroom right there and then you're going to come into this large laundry room. I mean, this laundry room has everything. You've got cabinet space, the laundry machines, a sink right here. Then you even have a little closet back here for all your storage stuff. And then through these doors right here, it's gonna go up into that beautiful sunroom that Mark's gonna take you through. All right, come on back here into what must be my favorite room in the house. It's such a beautiful bonus area here. It comes out, it's a sunroom with tons of windows. You have this gorgeous picture window right behind me. The exposure here is to the south and to the east, so meaning lots and lots of light coming in. You have these cathedral ceilings, just a beautiful spot to relax, be part of the natural scenery outside. Finishing up the main floor of the home, we have kind of the back half here. There's a bedroom directly off the entranceway to the main door there, which would be good for an office or maybe a kid's room. And then back here, you've got two full-size bedrooms. This primary bedroom is really, really Nice, you've got a walk-in closet there with tons of cabinet space. This ensuite back here, it is spectacular. Tiled floors, you've got the glass shower with the tiles around, the rain head coming out of the ceiling, 
shower wand there, a little bench to sit down in, and then you've got a free standing massive soaker tub here, double vanity sinks, and a heated towel rack. I mean, I don't know what more you could want in a primary ensuite bathroom. This has it all. Let's go downstairs and check out that lower level and stick around because we're gonna get to the backyard shortly and that is a oasis and a really special place back there. Okay, we're down here in the lower level and this place, it really does offer a little bit of everything. You have this games room, you got the bar area, another full three-piece bath just behind me here, the beautiful shower. Check out the tile work in there. It's like a inlaid basket weave tile pattern, really cool. Being a lower level walkout, you have access to the backyard through those doors right behind you. Hot tub, covered patio area. Coming on down this way, you've got two additional rooms on the left and right side. In here, you've got a sort of another recreational room, a good spot for a couch. You can see where a TV could go here. That's a natural gas fireplace there. So that's gonna be a nice cozy spot to sit and enjoy. Through these doors here, we've got another bedroom and then off the back of this room there's a little hallway that's going to go through to the lower level garage this garage is a awesome space for you to have your tools your machines whatever you want and then it's also heated it's got that gas heater that's going to keep that place nice and toasty warm so you can be out there all winter and another piece about that back garage it's got some steps that actually go up to your main level garage there so you can access it from the basement or you can go down the steps from the main level and go down to it. Let's get outside, check out this backyard oasis. It's special, you are going to love it. This back deck here, it's a special place. The composite deck is so big out here. It looks so sharp with the black railings and glass panel, the steps that go down to your grass yard area. You've got some landscaped stone, patio stone down there with your hot tub. And then of course that lower level garage that's gonna has the door that can raise up and exit out to the backyard here. Really beautiful spot back here, Mark. What's your favorite part? Well, normally we would take it down on the ground too and kind of tour around, but it's such a nice vantage point up here. It really just brings it all together, meant and designed for entertaining and just enjoyment of the outdoors. You have the greenhouse area, a little raised garden bed, storage shed, but my favorite part is that footbridge kind of over the ravine there. You can hear it gurgling away. You can see a little footbridge making for a cool little place to kind of get out there and explore a little bit. Okay, we couldn't resist the urge to come back here and play because, you know, boys will be boys, right? If you'd like to see this place, please get in touch. We would be happy to help. We're Mark and Tim from Century 21 in Studio Realty. As always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow us on social media. Let's go. Oh, geez, Tim, please be careful. Beth, never forgive me if we lost you today.